Welcome, our good friend and colleague, breast surgeon Dr. Christy Funk, is back in the house today. Welcome. Thank you. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> and you've already had a busy morning, haven't you? I have you? already done a bilateral mastectomy this that morning. That is something. Are you hungry? How about some sushi? <laughs> Starving. Yes. Are you are you a fan of sushi? Not not to interrupt because I eat it I, at I, least twice a week. Really? Yes. So a big fan. A lot of folks say it's their favorite food. But what if I told you the fish you're eating could be fake? Even worse, it could make you sick. Fish fraud is reportedly a global problem. So we did some investigating to see what we would uncover. We ordered white tuna and red snapper from a dozen restaurants. A dozen that ranged in price points. We put the samples on ice, shipped them off to a lab in Florida to test the fish's DNA. So what did we find? A dozen restaurants, regardless of the price point of those restaurants, all of the fish claiming to be white tuna was actually a cheap substitute called Escolar. Oh. It's dubbed the X-lax of fish because it can oh, cause stomach no. cramping and diarrhea, Drewski. The red snapper we ordered, that was fake too. Mostly it was cheaper porgy or sea brim fish, usually made with red food coloring. But here's the good news. We have an expert. Larry Amstead is the author of Real Food, Fake Food. Join us via Skype with more insight into our findings. Larry. Larry, now I don't oh. eat sushi as often as my compatriots up here, but it's a little bit mind boggling how much fish fraud is going on out there. What, only 2% of fish is inspected, is that right? The FDA is um, obligated by law to inspect 2% of the imported seafood in this country, and almost all of our seafood is imported, about 93% of it. But unfortunately, they fall woefully short of that year in, year out. They, they inspect about a quarter of what they're supposed to inspect. So if we went to a dozen different restaurants to get sushi, every single one that said we were eating white tuna, it wasn't the red snapper, that wasn't red snapper. How in the world do we possibly know if what we're ordering is legit? Well, unfortunately, um, seafood is about the worst category for food fraud of any of the kinds of food we eat. And in that, sushi restaurants do exceptionally poorly. Uh, about 74% of all sushi tested uh, is not what it claims to be. Is there a particular red flag that we should be aware of? For example, it sounds like if they say white fish on the menu, that doesn't exist. Or white, white tuna. White tuna. White tuna. There's no such species. Sure. Yeah, as your uh, colleague mentioned, there is no such species as white tuna, and it's something that's kind of unique to sushi restaurants. You'd never go to a normal seafood restaurant and see like white tuna steak on the menu. I'm not really sure how that got to be a sushi thing, but, but the thing is, you would still expect it to be some kind of tuna, and it almost never is. It's almost always escalar, which ironically is banned in Japan because it's so dangerous. And banned in Europe yeah. as well, correct? Uh, in Italy, yep. And um, it, the, the more expensive the fish, the more likely it is to be defrauded. And sushi restaurants, the, the species that are common are, are expensive ones, red snapper, salmon, tuna, fish that, that are more commonly defrauded than cheaper fish. Okay, so I know there have to be some places out there doing it the right way. I personally want to eat at those. <laughs> I know you can't give me a list, but I want to go have sushi tonight, theoretically. What steps can I take I know I can't guarantee it, but make it most likely that I'm actually gonna get the fish I order. The best way, and this isn't just for sushi, this is for, for all restaurants, is ask them who their seafood distributor is. That's the first question I would ask, because especially with the more valuable fish, like a red snapper, a wild caught salmon, things like that, you can't just get them anywhere. These are fairly scarce specialty products and usually handled by specialty distributors. So if they don't know and they don't have a good answer, that's a big red flag. Larry, thank you so much for joining us and giving us some insight. Thank on you, this Larry. Topic. I mean, you're safe. I mean, if you, if you order a shrimp roll, you have that shrimp with a little tail, you know you're getting a shrimp. Like, same with eel, that right. eel is, is eel and it's not that expensive. Those are also cheaper fish, so they're less likely to swap them out.